Is this new Super Shoe which features this unnamed phone the real deal? Or is it like its predecessor, just for a select few? Well, it's time to lace them up and take them out for their first run. And welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running coach who loves to review running shoes here on YouTube. And yes, people, today we're going to be taking a look at the Endorphin Elite 2. Right, guys, so this is a first run, first impressions video. I've actually done two runs in the shoe, but this is a first impressions uh, video because you guys asked for it. I wasn't actually going to do a video on this shoe until I've done a race in it on Sunday, uh, but you guys asked for a sort of initial impression, so that's what I'm going to be giving you today. I'm going to talk about what it was like on that first run, I'm going to talk about the sort of speeds that I was doing, what the foam's like, what's going on with this brand new shoe, and then we'll wrap it up at the end and I'll tell you how excited I am leading up to that race on Sunday. Right, so like I said, Socony sort of took us all by uh, surprise. Surprise! when they did a limited release of the Endorphin Elite 2. Now, my view is that they did that ahead of the Paris Olympics. Maybe that's something they had to do from a technical point of view, but the shoe came out in limited numbers. And my plan is to run the shoe at the Sockney London 10K on Sunday. Now, version one was a shoe that I openly admitted I felt I was too slow for. To give you an example, a couple of my friends who run close to a three hour marathon, they run it in the Endorphin Elite, where for me, it was too aggressive. It was not set up for somebody of my pace. Now, if you're new to this channel, I run, for argument's sake, uh, 340 marathon. My half PB is 135 and change, and my 10K time is down towards 40 minutes. So hopefully that gives you some sort of relevance on what I'm gonna be talking about today. But yes, the first version just didn't suit me. I just didn't feel I was quick enough over the marathon distance to get the best out of that shoe. Now, this new version, well, it's completely different. Right, so when this shoe came out, there is very limited amount of information on it. So I'm gonna give you some of the stats and features that I know of, but there's not much. So what I can tell you is the shoe was 280 pounds. I can tell you it's got a 39 and a half millimeter stack in the heel with an eight mil drop. The shoe does fit true to size. This is a UK nine and a half for me. We've got this one piece feather light -like knit mesh upper. We've got an unnamed new foam from Saucony. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of rubber coverage on the outsole, which does, well, okay. I'll come on to that in just a minute. The shoe is penciled in for a spring 2025 release, but like I said, they did this limited run in this colorway. The shoe weighs 230 grams, so that's about eight and a bit ounces, and I think that's about it in terms of what we know about the shoe. Right, so let's have a look at what actually is going on here with the shoe. Right, so as you can see, you've got this really nice upper, which is the, uh, got amazing attention to detail. It's super breathable, you've got, Plenty of sort of structure in there, but enough breathability to make it feel racy, to make it feel, yeah, like that super shoe. Right, as you can see, it's a one-piece construction. Uh, you've got a bit of a heel counter there at the back, but there's not much to it. You've got that flick away from the Achilles. There is an element of foam there to stop any rubbing and help with lockdown. The lacing, I've had no issues in terms of lockdown, but I have had some gathering here. You've got the speed roll technology on the shoe, which you'd expect from the endorphin shoes from uh, Saucony. The attention to detail is amazing. I love the fact that it's got Saucony written there. Can you see that? It also has it on the inside of the shoe as well. Your foot slips really nicely in. Uh, it does feel a little bit big, uh, and some of you may prefer to, to go down half a size who so like that snug fit, for, but for me, it, it was fine. Right, so there's the outsole, which is like a thin coverage. Uh, it's a bit sketchy in the rain, so you've got to be, uh, you've got to watch out for that. I was a little bit, a bit nervous uh, running along on the um, side path. So on the tarmac, it was fine, but on the side path, you'd say it was a little bit sketchy in the rain. Now, moving on to the foam. I mean, you can see the cut out there with the thing. This thing is extremely soft, okay? I don't know whether this is gonna do it justice, and I hate doing squeeze tests and, oh, come on camera, behave yourself, and all this sort of stuff, right? But all I can tell you is, it is extremely soft, right? This is not doing it justice at all. I don't know it's coming out but it is unbelievable how soft it is. Now I've brought up the Meta Speed here, the Paris Edge, and look, just to give you a comparison, it's soft, right, this foam in this shoe, but it is nothing compared to what is in this shoe. It is just like marshmallow, it's so squidgy. It's, look, look at it, look. <laughs> it's unreal how soft it is. It's, it's 
unbelievable. It's the softest shoe I think I've felt. And it's like it the whole way round. It's, it's, well, it's insane. But you've got the carbon plate that is ironing out that. Now, I want you to think, right, because this is the first thing that came to my mind on my first run. As I said, I've done two runs in there and I'll put them up on the screen. But the first one I did, it made me think, right, have you ever been to the gym and been on one of those like balancing like half ball things and you're sort of moving about and it's sort of squishy? That's how that kind of feels at low speeds. Okay, so let's move on to the ride. Okay, so look, pace wise, uh, the more towards seven minute per mile that you're at, the better. I mean, if you're one of these really super quick people who go a lot faster than that, then I don't know how you're gonna cope with it, but you know, I'd be interested to know your opinion, so let me know in the comments. But moving towards that seven minute uh, per mile is, is fast for me. And the shoe obviously comes even more alive than it does at eight minute miles. At eight minute miles, it feels um, compressive, but it feels responsive. It just feels bouncy, it feels fast, and it, energetic's the wrong word, but it, you get such a bounce off of the foam with the plate, it's, it's very hard to explain in words. It's, it's a different feeling to I've felt from other sort of super shoes that are out there. The closest thing I can kind of get to is, is the Alpha Fly. If you took out, right, you know the air pockets in the Alpha Fly. If you just had Zoom X there, I guess it would feel similar to what we've got here. There's no arch issues in this shoe, by the way. It's quite a, a low arch there, which is fine for me. Um, the stability, I had really remarkably no issues on those runs that I've done in it. It's quite wide relative. If you look, mm, I'm saying that, I don't think it does it justice there, but if you look, it's actually, it's quite a bit wider um, feeling uh, and also looking, and maybe that's a better way of doing it, uh, the uh, Elite um, the elite 2. Yeah, it's definitely a wider platform. Maybe I should have measured them. And it all round feels a bigger shoe compared to the Asics. Now, the reason I mentioned that is because it didn't feel unstable. Yes, it was extremely squishy and uh, yeah, soft, but weirdly, it didn't feel unstable, which is what I was kind of expecting. But it's a sensation that I've not really felt, I say only other maybe than on a Zoom X shoe. But yeah, it's remarkable how soft and how much bounce back you're getting from the foam. And then obviously you've got the speed roll technology and the plate and all that kind of stuff. It makes running sort of seven and a half minute miles extremely easy. Now this does give me the question, is this gonna to be too soft for me for a marathon? I'm not so sure. I don't know, it's a hard one because I was tempted, as you all know, to run the edge in the London Marathon. I backed out there for, for the reasons that I've mentioned. But just on the two runs I've done, I don't see anything there that makes me think, oh no, these are way too soft to run in the marathon. And if anything, they feel like, actually this may give you the confidence in the marathon to kick on a bit. So yes, the foam is like nothing really um, I've sort of felt before. Closest thing is the Zoom X. It is, I just can't get over, right, how soft this thing is. It's, it's like crazy. So initial feedback, people, is I'm liking this a lot. Um, it's a bit mental, it's a bit barking mad. It's extremely soft, but it feels extremely fast. I like the upper a lot. It's breathable, uh, it fits really nicely. So you've got a bit of gathering there. You can might even be able to see that now. Come on camera, where well, I've had them done up today. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Right, so that's my initial impressions. Remember guys, I've only done two runs in the shoe and that's because uh, you asked me to do a video after I've done those. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them to the London Sockany 10K and I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm not gonna go completely nuts and try and do a PB, because I'm still coming back from injury, all right? But I will be looking to put a bit of a, a wiggle on, let's say. And then I'll do a video after that, and then I will let you know. But yes, this is a very exciting shoot. I was, well, firstly, I don't think any of us were expecting it, and I really like it uh, on those initial two runs. It's, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and I just I just like the fact that it's a little bit wider than the A6. I don't know, Sockney shoes just tend to work for me, right? So, you know, that's another reason probably why I'm getting the confidence from it. But there we go, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about the shoe. Uh, I know I say it's a limited release and spring 2025 is when you've got to wait for it to go on, I think proper sale, general sale. But let me know if you did bag a pair and what you think about it. But yes, very interesting, very exciting. I like that a lot. It's, and then it feels lighter than sort of eight, um, eight ounces, which is kind of cool. But that's the same sort of in line as the Alpha Fly. But yes, for me, this could be my Alpha Fly three, which is where I'm sort of thinking because it's that sort of soft shoe. But anyway, let me get some more miles in and let me get that race in it. I'll come back to you, let you know how I felt in that race um, when I put it out in anger and we'll do a video on that. So make sure you subscribe and don't forget to leave me a nice comment below saying, you know what, Forty, I think you're the nuts. Right, I'll catch you later.